you into clicking a link, then giving them your password or sharing sensitive information. Most cyber attacks today start with phishing. Just one wrong click and boom, your data is gone. Hackers use fake login pages, scam emails, and messages that look completely real. They make you panic or rush, so you don't think twice before clicking. For example, in 2020, hackers sent phishing email pretending to be from WHO during COVID-19. Millions clicked thinking it was health information, but instead, their password got stolen. So what should we do? Always double check the sender, power or link before clicking, and never enter your password on a page you didn't intentionally visit. Alright, let's move to one of the oldest and most dangerous cyber threat, malware. What is malware? Malware is malicious code or harmful software created to damage devices, steal information, or give hackers control over a system. Hackers hide malware in the things people click every day, such as email attachments, fake apps, cracked software, shady websites, or even USB drive. Once malware enters your system, it can steal passwords, slow down your devices, spy on your activity, or completely take over your computer. Let me share one of my computer attachments from some sites. I just downloaded some exe file to activate my windows. Now you can clearly see that it has harmful codes that want to access my computer. There is another example. In 2010, StartNet malware was used to secretly attack nuclear system in Iran. The spread through USB drive and damage real machines. That's how powerful malware can be, even without the internet. So what should we do? First, never download unknown files. Second, avoid pirated apps. Third, use antivirus protection. And fourth, keep your system updated. Because trust me, malware doesn't ask permission before it's attacked. Now, let's talk about one of the scariest cyber threat today, ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware that locks your file or even your whole device and then ask for money to unlock it. Basically, hackers kidnap your data and demand payment, usually in cryptocurrency. What's crazy is, anyone can be a victim, hospitals, schools, companies, or a regular people like you and me. And even if you pay the ransom, there is no guarantee you will get back your files. These attacks usually start with a phishing email, a fake link, or an infected file. Once it is installed, your screen freezes your file get encrypted and a message pop up asking for money. For example, in 2017, the WannaCry ransomware attack hit over 230,000 computers in 150 plus countries. Hospitals, banks and companies were forced to shut down all because of one vulnerability. The only real protection is prevention. What to do? First, strong backup. Second, update your systems. Third, try to save browsing. Do not click on unknown files. Because when ransomware hits, it hits hard. Alright, let's move on to a cyber attack that doesn't steal your data. It shut down your system. This one is called a DDoS attack which stand for a distributed denial of service. Here is how it works. Hackers flood a website or server with so much fake traffic that it crashes. It's like millions of people trying to enter one door at the same time. Everything breaks. DDoS attack can take down online servers, gaming servers, banks, and even government websites. And the scary part, hackers often use infected devices from around the world like phones, PCs, routers, to create what's called a botnet. So, even if you are not the target, your device could be used in the attack without you knowing. For example, 
in 2016, a massive DDoS attack hit Dian, a company that supports major websites. Because of that, websites like Twitter, Netflix, and others went down for hours. What to do? First, use DDoS protection tools. Second, set up a firewall or web application firewall. Third, monitor network traffic or unusual traffic. Fourth, limit requests per user. Fifth, use load balancing. And the last one, backup servers or failover system. Now let's talk about a sneaky cyber attack called man in the middle. A cyber attack where someone secretly sits between you and the website or person you are communicating with to spy, steal, or modify data. So, let's think like this. You send a message to someone, but a hacker secretly listens, steals, or changes the message before it reaches the other person, and neither of you know. This usually happens on a public Wi-Fi, like in cafes, airports, hotels, or malls. Hackers create fake Wi-Fi networks or intercept the connection and boom! They can read your password, email, banking information, and private chat. Sometimes, they don't just steal, they change information while it's being sent. And that's make man in the middle attack super dangerous. For example, in 2015, Hackers used man in the middle attack on a public airport Wi-Fi to steal banking logins and email access from travelers. So what should we do? How to stay safe? First, use VPN. Second, make sure website that you are using are HTTPS. And third, avoid public Wi-Fi for banking or logins and never connect to the networks that don't look official. Now this one is different because the danger doesn't always come from hackers outside. Sometimes but the threat is already inside the organization. An insider threat is a security risk that comes from someone within an organization like an employee, contractor or anyone with authorized access who accidentally or intentionally has harm to system, data, or network. This is what we call an insider threat. An insider threat could be an employee, a contractor, an ex-staff member, or anyone with access to system or data. There are two types of insider threat. One is malicious insiders, which people who intentionally steal, leak, 